Welcome to the evening episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and I hope you had an awesome day. Go ahead and get your toothbrush ready. Now it's time to make brushing your teeth for two minutes fun and easy. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is umbrellas. The first working folding umbrella was introduced in 1969 by Bradford Phillips. Those little cocktail umbrellas that come in tiki drinks, they date to the first half of the 20th century, very roughly. Over 33 million umbrellas are sold in the United States each year to the tune of about $350 million. The superstition about it being bad luck to open an umbrella indoors came from an ancient African belief. Songxia, a town in China of about 110,000 people, has been described as the umbrella capital of the world. According to local estimates, about half a billion umbrellas, or 30% of China's production, are made here, supplied by more than 1,000 factories. One single worker makes about 300 umbrellas a day. There are many more umbrellas in the world than personal umbrellas. An umbrella factory can make rain umbrellas, golf umbrellas, beach umbrellas, folding umbrellas, promotional umbrellas, mini umbrellas, kids umbrellas, fashion umbrellas, personal umbrellas, patio umbrellas, clear umbrellas, wedding umbrellas, market umbrellas, and more. That's a lot of umbrellas. Umbrellas can be used as weapons to protect or attack. French President Nicolas Sarkozy was the first to use an umbrella as part of his security measures. You know those things your umbrella comes inside of? Those long pockets that you almost immediately lose? Well, there's an entire museum devoted to umbrella covers. The Umbrella Cover Museum on Peaks Island in Maine features a collection of over 700 umbrella covers. Most umbrellas produced today are finished with a coating of Teflon, which makes their canopy waterproof. America's first umbrellas were produced in Baltimore, Maryland, beginning in 1828. Did you know that there is a name for the individual triangle-shaped fabric segments used in the canopy of an umbrella? They are called gores. And you're done! Weren't those two minutes easy? If you like these episodes, be sure to tell your parents and dentists to subscribe to Toothy Trivia on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. We can also be found as Toothy Trivia on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.